If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Gains. What's good, life gainers? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Damn all everything. Sexy as hell host of the Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson, bringing you guys streaming information. Stream it or beam it. We do it all on this channel. And this particular video is all about the most anticipated movies of July. Question is, are you gonna wait for the stream or are you gonna go beam it in the theater? Let's go ahead and jump into this one and get the discussion going because July is already here. Always remember to subscribe to this channel. Click that little bell so that you'll get an alert every time I drop a video and we're going to keep it moving. Number five on my list is a story called A Ghost Story. The trailer was bad. I didn't do a review of the trailer because I didn't really like the trailer. But just based on the fact that it's got Casey Affleck in it, Ben Affleck's brother, and he's an underrated actor in my opinion. He does a good job. The movie might be worth going to see. Probably a lot of you guys are going to wait and stream that one. But just kind of the context of the story might be enough for you to go in theater beam it. I don't know. Me personally, I'm probably going to wait and catch the good stream. Number four on this list is Atomic Blonde. <laughs> yes, yes, my girl Charlize Theron. And I caught the trailer for this one. She's actually making out with the girl that played the mummy in Tom Cruise's mummy movie. And she is a great actor, by the way. If y'all haven't been catching her, she's played in Star Trek. She did The Mummy. She is a phenomenal actor and she's a cutie too. The trailer has her and Charlize Theron making out. And I'm hearing this movie is kind of going to be like a female version of John Wick. It might be something for you guys to go theater beam. I think I might go see that one and give a review and let you know how it goes. Number three, War of the Planet of the Apes. A lot of people have already seen this. It came out a little early in some places. Um, I kind of like the series. I haven't been that big of a fan of the series, but I've caught most of them. This is probably going to be one I'm going to wait and stream it um, for uh, the fact that I'm not that big of a Planet of the Apes fan. But from what I'm hearing, this is one of the best that they've done. So it might be something that you guys might go run out and theater beam and just try to catch it. Number two. Dunkirk. This is a war movie. So all my political followers, all my war followers, all my fans that like political documentaries, you'll probably like this movie. Basically, this is the part when Germany goes into France during the war and it's got a lot of graphic material done by a great director, great actors in this movie. For those folks that are into politics and war, that type thing, this is definitely gonna be one you wanna catch in the theater and not wait for the stream. So for that group of people, this is probably gonna be a good pick for you to go and catch in the theater. And number one on my list, because y'all know I am somewhat of a Marvel fanboy,
Spider-Man Homecoming. That comes out the 7th of July, which is this week. And it stars my main man, Tom Holland, who I think has been the best rendition of Peter Parker we've ever seen. You know, this is a collaboration between Marvel and Sony. I really, really like the way they have gone in the direction with this kind of collab of taking some of those Sony characters that are Marvel characters, but they haven't really been able to use them because Sony has the deal on them. And I like to see this collaboration because it's really giving the fans what we want to see. And the trailers for this movie have been great, but Tom Holland and Avengers played just an outstanding role. I loved him in that and I thought he would be good for this movie. So this is one that I'm definitely going to catch in the theater and I'll do a review on it so that you guys can kind of see the gravity of it and understand what happened and just really, really take it in. This is going to be a good movie. Like I said, I am somewhat of a Marvel fanboy, so that's my underlying bias, but that's it. And just to repeat it, number five, A Ghost Story. Number four, Atomic Blonde. Number three, War of the Planet of the Apes. Number two, Dunkirk. And number one is Spider-Man Homecoming coming out July the 7th. So I want to know what you guys think. What is your most anticipated movies of July? Let me know below. Let me know if you're going to go beam some of these in theater or if you're going to stream it. And that's going to do it for this video. Please don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe, hit that little button for the bell so that you can get my videos first. Share my videos. Check out my video description link. It'll have a couple of links that you might like with some free subscriptions, some free stuff that affiliates are allowing me to share with you guys. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Games.